Hi, I'm Harley. So, I uh, caught up with episodes two and three of Happy, and I just wanted to give you a retake, and, or a retake. I wanted to give you a recap and um, give you kind of my impressions of it. Oh, my light is moving. Um, so, in episode two, uh, let's see, uh, Nick goes and he... Um, he, he wants to win, get money. Like, he wants to get out of town. So he decides he needs money and weapons. And the way to get that is to uh, go see this guy, Ledic, <laughs> who is French, and I'm he's pr mispronouncing it on purpose, but it's still funny to say. Uh, so he decides to go see this guy and get money from him. Now, this guy happens to be a big poker player, so the only way that uh, he's going to let Nick have these things is if Nick plays poker. So this is kind of an important moment because this is where Nick figures out that even though nobody can see Happy, and Nick is pretty sure that Happy is just a hallucination and a figment of his imagination, um, whatever Happy sees is really there. So Happy starts counting, or not counting cards, but reading cards for him, reading other people's hands at the poker table so that uh, Nick can win, basically, and get money and guns and whatnot. And... Uh, Ledick is under orders from Blue to keep him there as long as possible so that Blue's men can get there and uh, capture Nick and uh, start torturing him to get the password. So um, it's, it's, a, it's a fun scene. <laughs> they took it <coughs> excuse me, to a level um, that I wasn't expecting because even in the comic, it's, pretty, it's a pretty rough scene, but they, uh, they get happy high, like super high on cocaine. And it's really, really funny. Like, if you haven't watched this show at all, if you have no interest in the show at all, you should still just check out this scene because it's really funny. It's really, really funny. Um, and that's pretty much, I mean, that's, the, that's a lot of that episode. In the third episode, um, it's where Nick kind of starts to take Happy seriously and is like, okay, well, if we're going to try to find her, we have to start somewhere. What's... Like, you, you know where she is. What did it look like? What did the guy that took her look like? You know, he's trying to actually kind of start an investigation and get information together, even though he's still not convinced that this is real. In this episode, too, we get a lot of backstory about how Nick became the person he is, um, how he and his wife are not together anymore, how he's not really aware of the baby that she had, um, they don't go into a ton of what happened between him and his partner yet, but I think that's probably coming soon, uh, because that happened very closely in the, the comic. Um, they did go into a little bit more detail in this, um, uh, in the show, um, about Santa's background, which I find kind of like an interesting wrinkle, like interesting how they're, they're working that in because in the comic, he's just kind of there. There's not really a ton of explanation of his motive. And I think the motive in the show is going to be different than the comic, which, frankly, I'm fine with. It's it's very disturbing in the comic. And they can make it very disturbing in the show, if we're being honest, because a lot of what they've shown already is disturbing. Um, seeing how Nick handles certain cases, like how he progresses from like a good guy cop to a bad guy cop to not being a cop, um, I think, which I think, you know, we I mean, we all know it's coming. It's, he's not on the force anymore, obviously. So, uh, we're, we're seeing some of that progression now and kind of what drove him to that. Oh, the one scene with the, the man who abuses his wife and, and baby, that really tore me up. Like, I don't know that I could watch that again. I think if I do go back and rewatch the show, I will probably fast forward through that part. It's really, it's not so much that it's graphic. You don't see anything. It's just the idea of what happens uh, or happened. It's just, it just tears me up. It really does. Like, <laughs> sorry, I still have this cold. But being a mom and loving my boys as much as I do and then knowing that there's people out there that just, they don't, they don't get what being a parent is. And it's hard. Don't get me wrong. It, it can be really hard. It can be really frustrating. But 
But babies, they don't know any better. They don't, it's not like they're choosing to be annoying. They're not choosing to cry at the most inappropriate time or when you're exhausted and you just need two minutes of sleep. It's not their fault. They didn't do anything. <laughs> so to hear, and I mean, I know the child abuse is out there. I know that terrible things happen to babies all the time. Um, but that just, uh, that stuff just really gets to me because it's just, they're so defenseless. They just, they can't fight back. They can't do anything but cry to let you know that something is wrong. And there's so many options out there now. Um, even if you don't have family, even if you don't have friends, at least in America, you can drop a child off at an ER, a fire station. Um, I think churches will still do it. No questions asked. You can just be like, I can't do this and hand it over and walk away. And you don't have to do anything else. And that baby will be taken care of um, from that point on. I mean, they go into foster care and the foster system, but there are a lot of good foster parents out there. There's a lot of good adoptive families out there. And I'm sorry, I've gone off on a tangent, but the scene really got to me. Like, it really, like, it's it's hard for me to think about. It's hard for me to talk about. But it's important to Nick's story because it shows how he went from I'm going to do my job and I'm going to be good at my job to I don't give a fuck about humanity. You all suck and you don't deserve anything. Um, it, it shows where he's how he's gotten to the point that he is now. So uh, it was a really good episode. It's a really powerful episode. I have questions. So Santa has superhuman strength. What the hell is that about? Like I know there's certain drugs out there that can make you really super strong. But um, they haven't really specified in the show what his drug of choice is. Um, they kind of did in the comics. So uh, I think they're taking that in a different direction. And then why can Santa see happy? Because uh, that's, that's really weird too. So I think that will be explained more in the next episode, in episode four. And I think that um, there's a lot that they're going to build upon in the show that maybe wasn't explained so well in the comics. So I'm excited to see where it's going and see what comes next. So anyways, I'm sorry I went off on my soapbox, but um, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you're feeling about the show. Let me know if you've read the comic, if you want to talk about it. Um, make sure to give me a thumbs up, hopefully you like this, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Tell your friends to subscribe. Check me out on Instagram, Xbox. I'm all over the place. Check out my other YouTube videos. I've got like 800 of them. And if you've already subscribed, thank you so much because I hit 1,500. So it's been a really exciting month. So happy holidays. And let me know what you're up to. And I'll talk to you soon. Good night, guys.